this uh, exhibition uh, will have the format uh, you know um, first uh, few minutes i will talk about art smiley and uh, what we do about you know a lot of maybe a lot of you may not be knowing what is art smiley and everything so i'll briefly talk about what is art smiley and um, i'll introduce our curator and then uh, we talk about uh, we give every artist uh, uh, roughly 2 to 3 minutes uh, to talk about their artwork okay and themselves and their artwork so Right now it's a 6 2 p.m. and we expect to finish uh, by around 8 30 a.m. So please, uh, you know, bear in mind that the time factor is important. Uh, um, otherwise, we have uh, 36 artists, uh, so it will take uh, ever. Uh, so please use your time better, and uh, you know, all the best to all of you. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Uh, you know, before I say that, uh, let me explain who I am. Uh, my name is Lurth, uh, Lurth Alam. I'm the CEO and uh, co-founder of Art Smiley. I'm, I'm not from art background, uh, but I personally uh, you know, love art and I'm an art enthusiast and collector for quite a few number of years. Uh, and I'm oil and gas professional and uh, I've been, uh, you know, worked uh, almost in different management roles, both in uh, Middle East and Europe for almost 20 years. Uh, you know, something, uh, art is always, as I said, uh, very personal to me and uh, very attached. Uh, one of the story of a friend, uh, you know, it actually motivated me, you know, to start something and do something for this community. Uh, you know, a friend called Santosh, uh, you know, he was a struggled artist and he quit art as a profession uh, and, uh, you know, he joined uh, a fabricator and a company. You know, like Santosh, many of them uh, has struggles in art, you know, it's not easy thing, but you have a lot of passion in what you do. And I really want, uh, you know, support if you, you know, once I'm presenting each, each one of the artists, you see a lot of the emerging talent uh, were being showcased, uh, um, you know, every time with Art Smiley because we're a launching platform for them. Uh, and I've seen uh, people being successful, uh, you know, <clears throat> elsewhere going out and uh, we're giving that platform uh, uh, for a lot of the emerging talent. So I'm really feel proud uh, uh, what we are doing on this. Uh, and I also has to introduce Aruna, you know, you've been uh, dealing with uh, all the communications uh, about the event. Uh, Aruna Alam is, uh, she's also co-founder of uh, Art Smiley and uh, she manages all the operations uh, of the business. And uh, she also, uh, uh, you know, have multiple hats and is an event organizer as well. So, I mean, she done, uh, you know, this week, uh, a lot of hard work on putting this show together here. So. And uh, I would like to thank you for her, but, uh, you know, let's uh, start the session uh, properly, you know, and then uh, we, we, we go further. Uh. <clears throat> so who is Art Smiley? Um, as I mentioned, uh, Art Smiley uh, was born with the mission to support artists. Uh, we're a multi-sided uh, online platform where artists and art buyers can connect, uh, uh, you know, 24 by 7. It's a platform, it's a multi-sided platform where artists can register their profiles and the art buyers can register their profiles and we match these interests and, uh, you know, a potential buyer can buy uh, um, an artwork from their own favorite artist or from a different artist of his choice. Okay, but we also do offline and this is, we call it as B2C, but we also do off, um, offline services as well. We provide our services to corporate offices and uh, hospitality clients and real estate property developers. So there are different parts uh, uh, we serve. I'll talk about those, our services in a minute. So what is our mission for Art Smiley? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, this was uh, uh, established with the main interests of the artists and at the same time, uh, I, you know, resolving the problems of the buyers. So our mission is to make uh, art more affordable and accessible to all communities. In a, in a nutshell to say, we want to democratize art. Uh, you know, that's our uh, main goal. Okay, so at the same time, we want to provide a viable career uh, for all of the artists. Uh, is it audible to everybody? Somebody has seen a message uh, that's not audible. I think maybe one guy uh, as Kaushal has a problem, I believe rest, I believe they can hear you, uh, hear yeah, me. Go ahead, everybody else can hear, only one, one person. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, next slide, Aruna. <clears throat> yeah. So what we provide as a services uh, to our clients and we provide uh, services to B2B and B2C. B2B, like, uh, you know, a lot of businesses, two businesses, like means, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we work with interior design companies, construction companies, and real estate and property developers, uh, corporate offices as well. Uh, quite a lot of them, uh, um, you know, 
we work with them at the same time b2c side it's a purely online platform and uh, in a lot of the buyer side it can be you know uh, art enthusiasts or home decor or some other uh, people who has passion in art who want to buy an art collector you know these are the kind of people we encourage them to come to online platform and search their favorite work and buy it so the key services what we offer to these clients uh, are um, you know the sale of original artworks um, and sale of art prints and art rentals and we also do a lot of private commissions uh, for many of the private villas or house owners we do their own choice of commissions and we also provide the art consulting services with uh, you know our partners uh, you know whether it's from an interior design company our own people uh, we work with different artists so we involve uh, from end to end uh, you know selection of the artwork to the right theme uh, and then to the installation so we do complete uh, art consulting services as well okay <clears throat> next slide aruna so our uh, curator i had to you know um, vikash kumar is our curator uh, he's been with the journey since uh, art smiley you know was established uh, he has uh, plenty of experience in art and uh, he's been our uh, curator and uh, art consultant uh, for last uh, uh, more than 3 uh, years uh, he holds a masters degree in arts and aesthetics with over 12 years of experience working with uh, national and international galleries museums and art schools and he curated himself various lots of exhibitions uh, uh, india outside india as well and he's also been a, a visiting faculty for academy of uh, brerera milan delhi and also a delhi university and uh, he also been uh, um, as i said a curator for the national art gallery for modern art in delhi as well so he's he's also now uh, um, you know chamber of commerce uh, for arts in india you know he's the director and he also do support uh, in you know, a lot of businesses like us especially you know uh, anything to relate to do with art and his support is always there and thanks uh, to vikash kumar i hope uh, he's here and he will be contributing uh, through throughout this uh, uh, exhibition he will give his comments or feedback okay so we'll be now uh, introducing to uh, the main section of the artworks you know we will be introducing each one of the artists and um, yeah, and i'll be talking about uh, their credentials and uh, introducing them and then they will give the platform to each artist uh, to talk about their work so as i as uh, earlier mentioned uh, we have in this exhibition uh, art for interior designers we have 36 artists uh, uh, from over 16 countries and they are originated from uh, so they are participating here in this uh, live zoom session so we'll be talking about uh, our uh, first artist uh, fahmida parveen uh, papri you know she's uh, been working with art smiley for almost uh, more than a year or two i think uh, you know she been exhibited with us uh, quite a few times uh, in at double tree by hilton as well she's a bangladeshi artist uh, based out here in dubai and uh, painting is her passion and and you know she's been doing it from her childhood and it's it's a love you know her work is a result of uh, a search for new and better perspective she mostly do acrylic abstract paintings in this artwork she made an illusionary sky and clouds that's very similar to the ocean in her vision the most fun part in blue's triangle painting is that she made a 20 triangles uh, like a hidden puzzle but it looks like uh, two to four triangles here so these are the work uh, she was talking about and uh, she's displaying here uh, uh, if um, papri uh, if she is here can you please uh, you know talk about your artworks and introduce yourself uh? Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you you are well, and I'm well as well. Yes, me, Famida Parvin Papri, and uh, I'm an art form of the charities. And uh, yeah, so um, I already participated to our uh, three exhibitions uh, with Art Smiley. That's why I wanna thanks to Art Smiley as well. So now I wanna show my artworks. So first, I wanna show this one. This the uh, Green one and this title of maybe right you can see this one. I made an abstract painting. This called a uh, greenery bird. So I choose a green color and I choose a bird in an abstract way. Um, it's look like very fresh, so I think it can be uh, very suitable for uh, interior design. And the second one is this one is a illusionary 
sky. So I try to make here uh, some uh, clouds and sky as well that can be very similar to the ocean in my vision. So I try to make this one as well. And the third one is this one. So it's look like a very simple abstract painting, but uh, there is an interesting part. So I made a triangles um, in this uh, painting. So I made a 20 triangles here, but it looks like two to four triangles. So that's a very interesting part. People have to uh, confuse where, uh, you, uh, where can, they can find uh, 20 triangles. So this is the most fun part in this painting. So yeah, that's it. That's all about my painting and I do all acrylic and abstract painting and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Papri. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so again, I, I'll be showcasing uh, the, her works now just, uh, yeah. these are her works, very nicely done. Um, you know, I can, I can see that, uh, you know, a lot of triangles, but I, I will not able to visualize, uh, you know, as it can be done with some very nice, beautiful works. Uh. Yeah, so these are some of our works. Now we'll be talking about uh, other artists. Uh, um, thank you, Papri, I uh, appreciated uh, your time. Um, now we'll be talking about a couple uh, uh, who do a different, uh, completely different kind of artwork. Uh, uh, his name is uh, Lloyd O. Flan Flanagan. Lloyd is a Welsh artist and graduated with a BA degree in advertising and uh, um, from an art college uh, with a BTEC in ND graphic design. His art is heavily influenced by the experiences from his travels across the globe. Lloyd gravitated, <clears throat> gravitated towards the graffiti scene around Europe the tattoo industry from street shops across the globe, skateboarding culture and counterculture and the shared positive community thriving from them all. Lloyd and his wife, Dominic, uh, will work together uh, to create paintings. So I'll be talking about now uh, uh, Dominic Bruni. Dominic also as known as Dom uh, is a South African artist who studied art direction in Cape Town. Dom is highly influenced from her travels across the world like her husband where she perfected her fine art passion. As time went on, to, went on Dominic developed an um, unexplainable urge to just to create, uh, like most creatives, art as well as music become core part of her identity. Dom's curiosity around psychology and culture has led to exploration into ways to use the art uh, to improve well-being in others. It's, uh, it's a nice theme, really, I love it. Uh, um, can you showcase, uh, I mean, I'll be, passing the call to uh, Dominique and uh, Lloyd uh, to talk about their works and introduce themselves. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so it's just gonna be me uh, tonight. My, Dominique's actually uh, currently in work, um, but I have to say she is uh, the better half of me. She is the fine details and things. Um, the way we kind of work is uh, I'll design something uh, digitally um, and then we'll work together to bring it to life into the real world, should we say. Um, we're actually collectively called True Love, that, that, that's how we identify ourselves, because um, we're truly in love, should we say. <laughs> um, we're going to be showcasing uh, three pieces, um, and they're all inspired by the uh, tattoo industry and graffiti, as you've already written. Um, this is one behind them, this is a golden chrysanthemum. Uh, and the way we, we've done these ones, uh, we have directly painted onto a wooden canvas. Um, we use Montana spray paint as the base coat. Then we use acrylics for the white lines, as you can see. And the highlights, um, we decided to use uh, 23 karat gold leaf uh, on all three designs um, because it gives it that, what we like to call posh punk. You know, we're still into the street art, still into that sort of um, underground sort of scene, um, but we're bringing that sort of culture to the masses, and uh, that's what we're striving to do. Yeah. So, this, I mean, I can see that it's a kind of very unique, uh, you know, in a way. But 
a lot of gold leaves around, you know, it's you're using 24 karat uh, real gold, uh, you know. Uh, that's that, co that's you know. correct. Yes, yes. It's it's um, it is an expensive material, obviously, but we think it gives it the the finish that we were kind of striving for, you know, um, again, the graffiti industry and the tattoo industry, it's all street and it's all very urban and um, raw materials. So we've mixed our raw materials like the spray paint um, with gold leaf and, and, and it gives a really nice finish, especially because we've used a wooden uh, canvas. Um, so it still feels raw, but at the same time, high class. And uh, we're really happy with it. And I hope you guys will be as well. You know, I mean, uh, they're really lovely, actually. I would say, you know, it's probably one of the favorites uh, for uh, hotel groups and uh, interior design companies. They love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Peace and love. So that's about their walks here, uh, uh, three of their walks. It will be displayed at uh, Hilton as well. Wonderful. Thank you, Lloyd, uh, and uh, pass my regards to Dominique as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So we are now uh, showcasing uh, Taslima Shazid. Uh, she's a civil engineer by profession. Uh, Taslima Shazid is a self-taught Indian artist uh, who is currently living in UAE, finding her passion for painting merely two years ago. Taslima has been uh, uh, prolific in producing artworks since then and thereby experimenting and extending her skills uh, persistently. Ranging from abstracts to realistic landscapes, her works are often inspired by nature and uh, ethereal scenes of life. With a relentless passion to further her artistic journey, she has been a part of uh, several online exhibitions. Now I'll pass the call to Taslima to talk about her works. Hi. Hi everyone, uh, myself Taslima and uh, I'm living in UAE and uh, I'm an Indian artist. And I have started doing uh, artworks uh, recently, uh, just two years ago. So uh, I'm a self taught artist and um, I love doing uh, works in acrylics and I've tried all the medias, uh, but I would love to speak on uh, acrylics. And I've, uh, I've been trying uh, abstracts, uh, floral arts, um, portraits, and uh, yeah, uh, almost all. And today uh, in this exhibition, I'm uh, showcasing my one of my floral artworks. And this is the peonies and it is uh, 90 by 60 centimeter size canvas. And I did this in acrylic medium. And this peony, they are uh, vibrant and they are alive and it's uh, full of beautiful colors. And these are the flowers with uh, uh, richness and um, it's the symbol of um, uh, good fortune and happiness and uh, yeah um, and I'm just showcasing this work in this exhibition and it's my first exhibition with Art Smiley and I'm looking forward to it and thank you so much for giving me an opportunity thank you and all all the best for everyone who is participating Thank you, Taslima. Nice work. Um, we'll we'll continue to work. Thank you. So this is uh, Taslima's work. Um, a beautiful nature. Again, I'm portraying into flowers. It's, that's nicely showcased. Very detailed. Uh, you know, you can see the layers. Uh, she done it very nicely. Yeah. So this is her work. Now I'll be uh, introducing uh, Nupurja. Nupur is an artist based in uh, Dubai with a master's in business econo economics. Uh, she has worked in banking, insurance, and microfinance sectors, both in India and UAE since uh, for last over 15 years. Uh, her interaction with uh, diverse cultures has enriched her work and provides depth and uh, subtly to her art. With the preference for abstract, her paintings are earthy, sophisticated, and carry contrasting images with equal ease. Her paintings are moments built with the colors, textures, and uh, patterns. So now, uh, Ms. Nupur, if you can take over the call and uh, talk about yourself and your works. Uh, we can't hear you, Nupur. Can you unmute yourself, Ms. Nupur? Am I audible now? Yes, yeah, yeah. Hi, good evening, everyone. 
Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. And uh, well, it's really nice to be part of the Art Smiley exhibition and um, with the, for the interior design, uh, you know, which is very much close to my heart, honestly. Uh, see, I think this is the first time I must say I'm not nervous, you know, because art is such a passionate thing and I'm really happy to have this conversation and not be nervous. So I'm very pleased to hear other co-artists and wish them all the best. So what I always thought, you know, with uh, 16 years of banking experience, I worked with MNCs, uh, I always thought and I always knew that art will happen in some point of time in my life, but I did, I did not know when and I did not plan for it, honestly. It, it, I think it was just a free flow of expression, the means, the time, the, you know, the cost, of course, everything happened. And then, of course, then the outpour of expression happened. And uh, like I said earlier, I think art for me is the bravest form of expression. You know, when you sort of outpour your, ex, uh, your emotions onto a canvas and you are exhibiting to millions of people around and you're letting them talk about it, I think that itself is quite brave. So I'm seeing a lot of change in me ever since I have picked up a palette and I'm seeing I'm evolving each day. And I'm not gonna talk about my art. I mean, it's very much here and I would let people uh, decide and uh, understand what they decipher out of it, honestly. Uh, there is very little that I can create a thought in people's mind. I did because there was a cause inside me. I did because I wanted to express, I wanted to put that positive uh, intention behind that canvas. And the effect, and that's what I call it, the cause and an effect is what creates an art, is the end user or the audience or somebody who is going to lend me a wall for this. The effect is going to be on the well-being of that person. And that's precisely how honest and how full of integrity art should be in my view. You know? And this is going to be a 20 year, more than that I assume, uh, you know, from the time I started now, I'm going to paint my heart out and I hope this becomes a better place to live with the art world, the way things are happening around. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nupur. I mean, it's well said. That, uh, you, know, you enjoy, uh, um, you know, doing this, and uh, I'm sure uh, you know um, you love. As as I can, I can see the passion you have on uh, art. Please continue doing. Uh, you know, I personally involved. I'm also from different background and profession wise, but uh, personally, when you engage it. Uh, it's an, a right form of expression for any kind. It's, it's absolutely a brilliant uh, a form for anybody, you know. So wish you all the good luck. I mean, I'm, you know, it's it's already started uh, having, we can see the your works, uh, you know, getting, I'm sure uh, you you can get much better as you progress. Uh, and uh, you, I would uh, recommend you to keep, um, you know, following the exhibitions and uh, follow the art scene. Uh, you know, you have plenty to learn as well uh, as you can contribute to the industry a lot. Thank you and all the best, Nupur. Appreciate it. These are her works. Okay, now I'll be introducing uh, uh, Dina Alberki. She's a Palestinian artist uh, living in the United Arab Emirates, a self taught artist inspired by everything related to beauty and passion for arts. She works with different art mediums, including watercolors, acrylics, pastels, coloring pencils, and resin. She started creating abstract fluid art, which led her to resin art. She chose to go with the art in use, which is creating usable art that everyone can have and enjoy. Now I'll be passing the call to Dina uh, to talk about uh, herself and her artworks. Yes, Dina, hello welcome. everyone. Yeah. Yes, welcome everyone. Hello, um, it's actually, my first exhibit with, you know, with, with other artists. So uh, I'm a Palestinian artist. I live in UAE since uh, 2009. Uh, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and I'm an artist. Uh, it's my, my talent. It's there since I was a child. Mom always encouraged me and uh, bring me all those art supplies. And like when I was a child, it was uh, colors and the crafts. These are my favorite toys. toys so. Uh, I wanted to study arts, but it uh, didn't work. Uh, but uh, two years ago, I decided that that's what I want. I know that I'm, a, I'm an artist and since I was a child. That's what, what I'm going to do. So I started working on myself two years ago, like uh, professionally and um, working on my talent. Uh, I'm not so good about when I'm talking about my art. I usually focus on what I'm doing. So. How, how can I get better and how can I 
teach people with this art that I'm creating. Uh, I started with watercolors, uh, then I wanted to try other stuff. Uh, I started doing fluid art, but uh, I, then I, uh, I saw resin art and uh, went looking for it and I just fell in love with it. But still like to do plastic art, like, you know, like this one here, this painting here. Uh, this is one of, of my fluid art. My actual piece is not with me right now. So this is one of my pieces in resin art. Uh, and uh, about a year ago, I started my business, like uh, my art business in doing resin products and uh, wall art of resin and normal art too. So uh, I, <laughs> I wish I have my painting if you can put it on the screen so I can speak about it a little bit. Sure, we can, we can showcase you that. Uh, um... Yeah, because I had to send it early. So. Yes, uh, that's a resin piece. Uh, it's uh, made with uh, resin on uh, a wooden uh, board. Uh, I chose this round. I felt like it's gonna be special. Uh, also, I added uh, glass stones, um, gold leaf on this edge here. I want it to be like special, not all just lines. I added gold paint too. Uh, I chose these colors, um, white, black, and gold. I felt like uh, it represents maybe the moments of our lives, like we have bad times and good times, the white times represent the good, of course, and black times when sometimes we barely go through the day or something. And uh, gold is my, I called it golden island because gold is <laughs> my favorite. I feel it, it really suits center your design. Gold represents uh, like, uh, to me, like um, success or happiness or, uh, those moments of the glory, maybe. So it's a combination of everything to me. I don't know if others can see that. Um, I also use uh, acrylics. Uh, I do plastic art. Uh, plastic art, I like uh, to combine nature elements with like faces, mostly women. I like to combine them together uh, to bring you know, that beauty that I'm seeking or that I want people to see. Uh, so that's most of it. I hope uh, we do more and more of uh, these art collaborations together. And uh, I really want people to have it and to be able to enjoy it as they do. Thank that's you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's nicely explained. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things I had to share with a lot of the artists around here or some of the, you know, our um, viewers, uh, gold is something, uh, you know, as you said, that you see it in a positive yes. way. It's a happiness. Exactly. And, you know, yeah. Positivity, hope, and being and it, always there. Yeah, exactly. And it's also like one yeah. of the favorite colors uh, here, like by the lot of interior designers as well. Uh, so yeah, true. Yes, uh, yes. It's uh, it's a symbol of, of uh, elegance, maybe. Elegance, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah yes. It's a nice, nice work, and uh, you know, thank you for thank you. Uh, being part of us today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that I was part of this today. Thank you. So we'll be <clears throat> talking about our next artist, uh, uh, Reha Shishodia. Reha Shishodia was born in. Uh, Mumbai, India, and uh, art for her is life and all the shades of her personality are drawn out through her creativity. Her paintings, multimedia installations, and video art incorporates elements of uh, socio-political, economic, religious, and cultural interpretations. She has taken part in uh, many group and solo exhibitions across India and done art commissions for clients in India, Singapore, and Italy. The stage is yours, uh, Reha. Please uh, talk about yourself and uh, your artworks today, what you are showcasing. Hi. Hi, I'm Reha Shishodia. I'm a multimedia artist. I've um, worked in Mumbai, Lagos, and I've recently shifted to Dubai. And thank you, Art Smiley, for uh, you know giving me a platform and my first exhibition in Dubai here. And um, it's a great platform here. I'm presenting one of my artworks, which is called as Infinity. It, the symbol itself implies something which will last forever. And the, the uh, symbol, I have created it with the knife, palette, palette knife uh, with, to create the force. And I have given the embossed 
and the textured effect, which looks like a metal plate, and uh, used bright colors, which goes with my personality. So, you know, I hope you enjoy the show and you like. Uh, good luck to everyone and thank you. We have some really nice work, and I see that a lot of the artists were telling we are first time presenting. And I honestly do have to say that I'm really happy to see that uh, you know we're providing this platform for a lot of the people who are coming here, or we are already practicing art. Some young and experienced guys, so it's really beautiful. And I can see that through your work, uh, you know, your experience and the skill. Uh, so all the best, and uh, thank you very much. Sure, you know, you know, we will continue to work here uh, more long term. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Reha. It's it's nice work, uh, more detailed. Um, how long it will take, uh, Reha, for you, just kind of this work? Uh? So this work takes around three to four months to create it. Okay. Yeah, nicely and done. You know, a lot more details. Uh, I can, uh, you know, we can go and uh, look into that. It's, it's nice uh, to see this. Yeah, so here uh, in the metal frame, I have used a lot of symbols of light, you know. I've created that, so in the details you can see it, and the effect which I've given it, the texture which I've created, it comes out. So it looks like a metal plate, and it gives a 3D uh, circular motion of the infinity towards the painting. Okay. What is the size of this painting? The size of the painting is four feet by four feet. Uh, so it's uh, 48 inches by 48 inches. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Ria. Appreciate it. A good work. Yeah, thank you. So now, I mean, I think uh, I think one of our participants uh, is asking, okay. Um, Dominic, we will share you the details. I think you're trying to ask the what is the size of the details. I can share you this separately, Dominic. I'll reach out to Aruna. Yeah, no, one of our, uh, you know, customer uh, is interested. Uh, so we, we will, uh, you know, speak to him on outside this, you know, call. Okay, now I'll be introducing uh, Kaushal Chowdhury. Um, Kaushal is uh, an Indian artist living in Mumbai. Um, he's an art director for Indian cinema. The theme of his paintings, uh, sculpture or installation is mainly associated to soul, heart and mind, which he expressed in abstract and figurative forms. He's a first class graduate engineer from Bangalore University, a sculptor from Indian Institute of Craft and Design, Jaipur. I mean, this man personally has an amazing work. So I, had to, I had to say that, I mean, he's working with the uh, last few shows with us, uh, a few exhibitions we've done uh, in different parts. And uh, he, he has an amazing talent, uh, this guy. Uh, um, as Kaushal is here. Uh, Kaushal, last time we missed out. I mean, I'm really keen to hear from you and uh, learn more about you and your works. Uh. Kaushal, are you there? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, uh, Kaushal, I can, can hear you. Me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi, friends. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Art Smiley. And I'm really sorry last time I was on shoot. So I could not uh, attend completely. So now, now it's okay. So. As I said, I'm an artist and art director for uh, Indian cinema. I live in Mumbai, India. Um, in the in film industry, we use many different materials. You know, it's from metal to wood, any, any type of uh, paints, whatever comes to our mind, because it should look more beautiful. And uh, it should require the concept of the director, the requirement of the film. But as an artist myself, when I paint, I mainly use oil and acrylic on canvas on, in paintings. And my subject has said uh, I'm more into non objective things which are not seen. Uh, it's like, you know, there's, there's a sky, but it's not seen. It's seen, but uh, it's not an object uh, kind of thing. So I paint uh, soul. I, I talk about vibrations uh, which are not seen uh, by the naked eyes. I try to depict on canvas and for the exhibition, this is what I have uh, given for this, this particular show. Uh, you can show, sir, if you want. Uh, there's a wave, wave connections, Buddha connected. 
Do you want me to show you what works, or you have something to present? Okay, we can show you. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can talk while while you show the works. You like the one in the uh, on the laptop, the waves connection. You can make out which one which is yeah. waves, the the most colorful painting. Yeah. So what I feel is like uh, everything is vibration. Okay. So what we uh, comes from our body or from mind, it is vibration which other catches. If it is, it's like a frequency. If we are, uh, if the frequency match, we are, we get connected. So my main thing is about the connection. So if you have a, a same frequency, if a mental wavelength, then we are all connected. So in all of my painting, the one in the right side, it's like forest connected. The nature also, nature in fact is connected. It's only human beings which we have a different frequency and we don't get connected. Otherwise, the entire uh, universe is connected to each other. So if we can keep ourselves calm, we get the same frequency and we get connected. This is what I have uh, um, I've been depicting from past uh, 10 years uh, in my paintings. So that's all. Thank you. I wish everybody a good luck. Yeah, thank you. Kaushal. Good luck. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, Kaushal. It's really a pleasure to seeing. I love your infinity work. Huh? We still have here, you know. It's 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 something, uh, you know, very a bit of spiritual, but it also like in unimagination, uh, you know, uh, but imagining into an art form uh, is, is something I personally enjoy, look, you know, seeing your works. Huh? So, uh, just thank to. You, for your other side in the film industry, like you you make your arts first and then you make a set or how it works for you? Just a question. Or you, you know, you inspire from that to here into art. Huh? Yeah, actually, uh, we are the third person to see the movie. The first one is the writer who writes it because the movie goes in his mind. Then is the director to whom the writer explains. And then comes to me the art director, the production designer. We read the book, read the script, and the picture comes in our mind. Then we draw because uh, we artists are gifted to, to draw. Otherwise, everything is in the brain only. And the other people, they can't uh, express their uh, visuals. So we, as an artist, art directors, uh, we draw it and we show it to the director. So this is what is, is in your mind. And we also suggest the color scheme, the color palette. We suggest everything. Actually, everything around the actor is created by an art director. So there's a different department for the costumes. Otherwise, uh, everything from pen to shoes to his house or entire city, not, not just the painting, the entire city we create. And whatever you see in cinema, at times it's a real location also, but we change many things in the real location so that it looks beautiful. It's again like a painting only. Every frame of the movie we design like a painting. So what color we had to put, we, we choose it as a production designer. What sure. color of the pen should be there? It's like a brush stocks, you know, here some red, there's some gray. So it is, it's like a painting, but multiple frames so that everybody, everybody likes it. Yeah. Thank you, and, uh, and uh, it's very clear, and I'm sure uh, a lot of hard work goes in into every film into making it reality. Yeah? So yes. thank you, Kaushal, appreciate it, uh, being part of us today, and uh, we will definitely encourage you uh, to keep working with us. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's now um, I'll be introducing uh, Ritu Nanda. Ritu Nanda is an artist from uh, New Zealand and currently living in Dubai. Art has accompanied her during her career in fashion for almost 22 years. She has been using mediums such as pencil, dry pastel, charcoal, pen, and have recently dabbled in acrylics. Creating abstracts has spoken to her, excited her, and provided her a heaven. Abstract, abstraction in her art follows the freedom of expression that is not limited to visual realities. Her style is constantly growing, evolving, and reflecting the wall around her. Ritu, the stage is yours. Uh, please, uh, you know, explain your works and showcase uh, about yourself. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be part of this exhibition and uh, Art Smiley Artist Community. And thank you so much, Art Smiley, for giving me this opportunity. 
Uh, my name is Ritunanda and I'm from New Zealand and originally from India. Um, I moved to Dubai last year in March from Switzerland and that's how this journey started. Uh, I've studied fashion and textile design and worked in fashion industry for the last uh, 22 years uh, in many countries like Australia, Austria, India, New Zealand and Switzerland. And painting has always been an important part of my life since early childhood. And as you said, I've been using different mediums like pencil, dry pastel, charcoal, pen. And I used to do more like life sketches, portraits and florins. And recently I started exploring acrylics and I was so happy when I was surrounded by colors and paint and then decided to make it as a full-time role in my life. Uh, I do majorly abstracts, which is built on textures, layers, and mixed media. So I do a lot of layers, um, line, and just trying to uh, explore different color combinations. So I hope you will like this is the painting I'm going to be. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the whole. Yeah, yeah, we can now. We can. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So it's called Green Green Thumb and it's made with acrylic and mixed media on canvas. Uh, I love nature and plants are very dear to me. So I wanted to give this painting a very warm, lush and serene feel to it. So the concept was to add few layers, create different textures, overlap colors, uh, create lines and pattern on each layers and using like strong brush strokes and also use I try to use a lot of unconventional tools uh, uh, and it's it's really amazing like um, with every tool, the, 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 the texture which comes um, from it and which is very exciting. So um, I hope this artwork will um, evoke calmness and joy and warmth when you look at it. So I'm happy to be part of this exhibition and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thank you, Ritu Nanda. Um, it was really nice work. Uh, um, Aruna, you can maybe go back to the presentation to show her work. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is you know, people, those who didn't able to see it, you can see it. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. It was, uh, you know, it was really beautiful uh, abstract and it's, you know, a lot of textures in it. And I'm sure I can see that, uh, you know, it's in detail. Thank you very much, uh, right. uh, Ritu. It's a pleasure uh, uh, seeing you here today. Thank you so much. Yeah, now we'll be introducing uh, Anupa Wara. She's a British artist. Uh, uh, Anupa was born in uh, London, where she found her love for art at the ten age of five. Anupa graduated in art and uh, design after and after 15 years of working in corporate world, uh, of which the later 10 years in Dubai, Anupa's long longing to dive back into creating art was calling her. So through her process of abstract initiative painting, each piece tells a unique story infused with layers of color frequencies, energy and high vibrations uh, to uplift and bring a sense of joy to the viewer. So now the stage is uh, yours is Anupa, please uh, introduce yourself and showcase your works. Thank Welcome. You. On Hi, thank you so much. And thank you, Art Smiley, for having me. Um, I'm a self-taught artist and uh, naturally progressed into being an intuitive abstract artist, um, which means for me that I, I don't have any pre-planned ideas of what the painting will be. I don't have any idea when I start. So I allow the painting to progress in a purely in uh, intuitive way. Um, I find this process to be very freeing, very liberating. Uh, it's a process of surrendering to my higher self. It's a process of trusting uh, the unknown and allowing myself to follow those creative impulses that, that come up along the way. So it's uh, it's very expressive form of painting for me. It's, it's has a lot of movement, a lot of color, vibrations, and um, a lot of vibrancy in the work. So the painting above me here is called Serendipity. 
my paintings usually have, um, they're usually expressions of my soul. So although they're intuitive, they end up having a lot of meaning behind them. So for instance, this one, it encourages us to reach deep within our hearts, to follow our intuitive calling. And when you follow your intuition, um, we start to see magical synchronicities and serendipity happening in our lives. Um, if you see, you're guided through the painting via various forms and marks. And I find that's a reflection in life when you follow your intuition. And when you do that and you journey through life, it brings about great fortune and great success. So that, that's the meaning and the story behind this one. It's very uplifting, joyful, and just has a sense of fun in that piece. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very brilliant uh, work. I can see that. I mean, very few artists uh, have seen this kind of skill. Uh, you know, uh, it's an amazing, because uh, I, I remember one of the artists early days, I've seen it, you know, similar uh, things. What is the size of this uh, work? This Anupa? is, it's 90 centimeter by 120. I love to work large because it just enables me to throw paint on the canvas and to be very loose. Um, once I once I build up layers, I mean, I predominantly work with acrylic paints, so I build the layers with texture, um, transparencies, collages, and all sorts of interesting things to help tell the story of the piece. Um, and then when I get to a certain point, I narrow it down to either a focal point or bring cohesiveness through color. I mean, as the word intuitiveness uh, is itself is like that, you don't have something in mind when you started, right? Uh, Absolutely. Generally, how long you carry it actually as your thoughts are progressive because we are human beings every day, Yes. experience many things and lots of things goes in out uh, and you come out and put into form or uh, actually you continuously work on doing something how, how it works for you exactly that's the point um, sometimes a painting can last a few weeks because it purely depends on my mood on the thoughts that are processing I try to let go of my thinking mind so that I can receive messages and act, act as a channel to um, just put marks down without any expectation. At a certain point, I see things coming together and that's when I'll step back and maybe start to bring the painting together in some kind of cohesion. So um, some paintings, I mean, I've got since months and I'll go back and I'll, I'll completely change it and it will be something brand new. So that, that's just the beauty behind it. It is a very um, raw, authentic part for me to express myself in this way. Um, and it just brings a lot of joy, a, a lot of joy to me. It's very healing and it's very therapeutic. Um, yeah. This piece uh, is called uh, Gateway to Freedom. So uh, it's all about how we are so heavily influenced now by our exterior world that's around us by technology and um, almost as though there's a lot of things that are out of our control. But when we remember um, to come back to self and come back to our beingness, uh, we can really be inspired by following our sovereignty to make choices and decisions from following our heart and our joy. And that's when uh, our true great potential comes out. So it's a very empowering piece, uh, this one here. Um, no, my heart is... No, they're beautiful works. I had to say that don't go back to the corporate world. Uh, keep doing this. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. So next, Aruna. Wonderful works. So now we'll be introducing uh, uh, Sha uh, Shadi Mathari. She's an Iranian artist uh, based out in Dubai. As a passionate traveler, a cultural enthusiast, and a natural lover, she expresses her feelings and thoughts through realism and surrealism on the canvas and uses uh, portraits and elements of nature to express her message to the audience. Shadi enjoys uh, using multi-layer technique to create depth and appeal to a wider range of audience. In her artworks, she mostly uses dark colors for the background and vibrant colors for the subject. Usage of colors and shades always depends on the emotions, feelings, thoughts that she intends to portray through this through that specific artwork. Shadi, this is uh, stage is yours. Uh, please introduce yourself and talk about your work. Sir. Thank you very much. 
Uh, hi, everybody. I hope that everyone will be liking this exhibition and thank you, Arch Smiley, for providing us this stage to introduce ourselves and our artworks. So everything is uh, you said about me in the introduction, so I will go right away to the artwork. Uh, actually, it's a large piece and uh, uh, it's done by acrylic medium on canvas. And the uh, meaning of this uh, artwork is that the background, which is dark and black, shows the unknown in this world, which uh, everybody as an individual is going through unknown. And we don't know many, many things which is happening around us, the reasons why we are here or where we are going. And the person, the uh, portrait, which is reading a book as a shiny object and the lights are coming out of it, it's uh, the symbol of knowledge and awareness in the life which we uh, need to go through. So we will find our light to uh, light, light up our path through the light and the different colors and the vibrant colors there are the symbol of um, different paths and ways that everyone can try. And, but the, the main thing is that light. You may see it in different ways, but the meaning and the main thing is still the same. Um, uh, actually, I took this photo when I traveled to Istanbul in the bazaar area. So, and uh, I just changed it in my way, the way I wanted it, and I just portrayed it this way. So this is it about my artwork. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, you know wonderfully explained, uh, and uh, you know I have to say. You know, we're gaining knowledge from everything what we see in every day in our life. Um, it's, it's nice work, uh, Shadi. It's Thank you very much. So as you can see different things, you know, lighting us around. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah. So now we'll be talking about uh, Alexander uh, um, Sofix. Alexander Sofix is an artist and a composer. Uh, since childhood, uh, he has been engaged in music and drawing author of five albums of uh, contemporary romantic instrumental music, the creator of his own uh, drum school uh, on the drum set. Alexander began to draw serious uh, works at a later age. In the life of the artist, there was a deep dramatic situation and the way out of it was just drawing. Music and paintings by Alexander Sofix are used for medical purposes by the largest international centers of health and beauty. Uh, Mr. Alexander, it's uh, stage is yours uh, uh, to talk about yourself, and I'm very keen uh, to know that, you know, your experience working with international centers. Uh, um, that'll be nice to know. Hi. Hello. Yeah. yeah, we can we can see you. Yes, Mr. Alexander. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't speak much English, but I am preparing my presentation and. I uh, can uh, uh, read my presentation, please. Sure. Yeah, you can uh, slowly and briefly, you can explain us about you and your work, yeah. I am the organizer uh, of the exhibition for the attention uh, to me and uh, for choosing my works. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, participate uh, in this exhibition and cooperate with Art Smiley uh, Gallery. This is my first uh, event in the uh, United Arab Emirates, and uh, uh, may it be a happy one. Uh, briefly about yourself. Uh, I have been uh, doing uh, creative works uh, since I was a child. Uh, drawing and music are the main areas of my work. I also founded uh, the Indigo Foundation 
uh, foundation for the development of inspired arts uh, where i also invite uh, uh, talented people from all over the world i also have exclusive suggestion for art smiley gallery i am interested in improving uh, in classical painting for a long time i painted only in oil uh, but recently i also started creating a series of acrylic painting and written uh, mandalas in the dot art today the exhibition presents uh, six of my uh, works painted in oil thank you all i am very happy to meet you and uh, cooperate with you thank you alexander uh, appreciate it uh, i do uh, work uh, today i can uh, show uh, my two work this is uh, this is at the uh, sunset look and this is light of hope Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alexander. They are great works. Uh, um, you know, uh, you're showcasing me. Your works here, we can see that they're very, very fine. I can see that a lot of detail you put together to uh, come very nice, uh, especially, you know, the peacocks, what you've shown me, I can, I can reflect. Uh, you know, rather than in the photo, in real, in reality, there, you know, the, you can see the details. So, thank you and the wonderful work, uh, Alexander. All the best, uh, and we will continue Thanks. keep in touch with Thanks. you. Thanks. Yeah, these are Alexander's works. As you can see, this, oh, yeah, nice. A lot more details into it. Uh, you know, showcasing the nature, but uh, there's a lot more. Uh, um, as you can see, the details.